Welcome! In this video I will explain why I think that a Thunderbolt 3 dock core from Belkin is the best dock station or Thunderbolt hub for the 13-inch MacBook Pros with the M1 CPU, which only has two of these Thunderbolt ports. Right, my name is Matthias, and if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want more creative content and technical reviews like this. Okay, if you bought the latest uh, MacBook Pro 13 inch with the Apple M1 CPU and you want to use uh, an external Thunderbolt audio interface like this Twin X from Universal Audio, you quickly run into trouble with the M1 uh, MacBook Pro because it only comes with uh, two Thunderbolt ports. You basically need one Thunderbolt port for the dedicated uh, audio interface. You need one dedicated Thunderbolt port to connect an extra USB hub, maybe to connect the MIDI controllers or uh, an external display. And finally, you need a third Thunderbolt port to be able to charge your MacBook Pro while you're working. Many of the available Thunderbolt dock stations and hubs use up both of these Thunderbolt ports, so you can't really have all these three connections at the same time. And that's basically where the Thunderbolt 3 dock core comes to play, because it only uses a single Thunderbolt port, and it also comes with its extra USB-C PD port for connecting your charging adapter. Right, so let's talk about the connections on the dock core. You obviously have this uh, Thunderbolt uh, 3 connector to connect to your MacBook Pro. First we have a DisplayPort 1.4 connection and we have a HDMI 2.0 and uh, these ports support uh, up to one 8K display or uh, dual displays at 4K and 60Hz. And you also have an Ethernet connection. And on this side we have a USB-C PD port for connecting your uh, MacBook Pro charging adapter. And on the third side you have a dual USB-A. Uh, one is USB 3.2 generation. It supports up to 10 gigabytes per second transfer speeds. And uh, the second port is the USB-A 2.0 generation. And you can also connect headphones or a microphone. What I really like about the Thunderbolt dock core is that it is very portable and a light design. It's a very compact design. And you have a small grill on the top here for the cooling, not for the barbecue. So, what about the pros and cons for this Thunderbolt 3 dock core? What I really like about this dock station is that it basically has all the connections that you could wish from a hub. You have a 8K display or dual 4K. I believe that the 13 inch MacBook Pro with the M1 CPU only supports a single display. That said, if you connect this to another computer, you can use a one 8K display or dual 4K displays. And I really like that we can finally charge the MacBook Pro at the same time as using this uh, dock station. Right, so for the cons, the negatives. I believe that this cable is a little bit short, depending on uh, your use case. If you're using this in your studio, maybe you want to hide away this uh, dock station somewhere, and it's a little bit hard to hide it when the cable is this short. But if you want to go portable, the short cable is uh, not a bad thing. Another con is uh, obviously the price. I bought the Thunderbolt 3 dock core for uh, 130 euros and that's a little bit steep. That said, I know that many of the other Thunderbolt dock station also has a quite high price. Now, if you mean to buy the Thunderbolt 3 dock core, you can use my affiliate link in the description to this video. That way you will also help support my channel. Thanks. Okay, so that's all for this uh, Thunderbolt 3 dock core review. If you have any comments or questions, please let me know in the comment section. Now you can continue and watch my next episode. Thanks for watching today, my name is Matthias and see you in the next video. Bye!